I went to London this weekend and I filmed a vlog there as well and I went to Forbidden Planet and bought a bunch of margas so yeah I'm gonna show you today what I got so first thing I got was Skip and Loafer 5 and Volume 3 so I don't know why this is plastic wrap it's very strange um all the stickers are on here still because I haven't peeled them off but Forbidden Planet does three for two on basically all of Viz Media titles as well as Seven Seas titles. So you can see here everything everything in the stack is Seven Seas. I didn't pick up anything from Viz this time, but I found a lot of really cool um, Seven Seas manga in store today. So I was really excited. But yeah, here's Skip and Loafer number three. And Skip and Lofa number five. So Skip and Lofa, I haven't actually read yet. I bought volume one recently online because I can never find any volumes in stores. So I bought volume one and I'm really excited to read it. I heard it's a slice of life high school series and this girl here kind of comes from the countryside. She starts learning about new things in being in the city. And I think these two run into each other somehow at the beginning. I know there's an anime coming out, so I saw the trailer for that. I think she meets him while she's lost and then something happens. Um, I heard it's really sweet and quite slice of life. Um, some people said that they found it a little bit dull, but I've been hearing lots of good things about it. So I wanted to try it out. And these were the only volumes available in store. Yeah, skip and loafer. Then I have Accomplishments of the Duke's Daughter, Volume 8. I recently got 1 to 5 online used for really cheap on Abe Books. So I saw this in the store and I thought, might as well I pick it up, continue the series. I'm excited to read Volumes 1 to 5. I think that will be coming up in one of my unboxings. So yeah, hopefully I can read this soon. I think this one is... I think this one is an Isekai as well as a villainous Isekai. I'm not 100% sure, but I've been so I've been looking to read more villainous Isekai because I really enjoyed My Next Life as a Villainous or Roots Lead to Doom anime and I've been kind of obsessed in the villainous genre since then, so I'm really excited to try this one out. This looks really good as well. I heard some good things about it, so I'm looking forward to reading it. And the next one is My Saviour's Book Cafe Story in Another World. There you go, I removed the sticker so you can see the handsomeness properly. <sighs> the Saviour's Book Cafe Story in Another World is a izakai of this lady. She's also, I think, in her 30s who gets izakai into another world and then she basically starts a book cafe, which is basically a dream of mine I wish I could do that and she meets this handsome man I think he comes to the book cafe and then I think there's lots of stories involved that ensue everyone has been talking about this everyone has been loving it and I really want to read it but volume one has been out of stock for a while so I'm still waiting to get that but I thought I might purchase these volumes anyway I think this series is only a five volume series so I thought I'll just invest in it and the art is really cute and I really relate to her because she's also an older protagonist, not like a high school um, protagonist. And she basically wants to start a book cafe. So yeah, I really wanted to try this one out. 
Next, I have the most heretical last boss queen from villainous to savior. So this one, I also think it is a, is it an izakai? I'm not 100% sure if this one is an izakai, but this is definitely a villainous manga. And as I said before, I am like obsessed with villainous mangas at the moment. So I've been pretty much trying to look for every villainous manga that I can find and try them all out because I'm really enjoying these type of stories. This one is the second volume. I didn't see the first volume in stores, so I'm going to have to pick that up online as well. But yeah, I'm excited to try this one. I heard this one is also really fun. This one is also really thick. I really like that. And the art looks really good. We can't see the guy's face because he's got a 3 foot 2 sticker on him. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully this one's good. Next one I have is Young Ladies Don't Play Fighting Games Volume 1. And I also got Volume 3. So I was interested in this one actually when I saw it in store in my local Forbidden Planet. But I thought maybe I'll get it next time and then I found out that this actually might be a girl's love or like a really slow burn girl's love and I was like instantly sold after I heard about that because I'm like I like friendships and everything like that but if there is you know an element of girls falling in love I'm like yeah okay I'm gonna have to try it because you know me I've been wanting to try as much girls love as I can and look at the beautiful artwork it's really pretty I think this one is definitely about girls who kind of hide away and play fighting video games and I thought that was really cool premise I think these two get to know each other a lot better and maybe a cute romance will ensue who knows but yeah, I definitely wanted to pick this up because it just looked great and if it has a girl's love in it, I'm sold basically. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, the stickers. Here it, here it is without the sticker in the way. But yeah, it looks really cute. Next I have The Saint's Magic Power is Omnipotent by Yuka Tachibana and art by Fujiyazuki. So, this one I also picked up used. I have volumes 3, 5, and 6. I picked these all up um, in, a go, in one go because I picked up volume 1 and 2 for quite cheap online and I saw them in Forbidden Planet. And obviously, I had to pick up as many as I could to get the best value for the 3 for 2 offer. So, I just picked up everything 7Cs and sorted, sorted them all out after I finished finding everything so yeah this one I also think it is an izakai I'm not 100% sure but I think it's got a bit of romance um it's a, like a shoujo izakai it has a romance element and I think she's also like a saint and she has like magical powers so I thought that was interesting I also really like fantasy and fantasy izakai in general so I'm trying to pick up more of those type of series because I always had a misconception that Izakai was all harem. I don't know if this one is a harem um, or a reverse harem, but I always had the misconception that Izakai's all had harem in it, so I wasn't really interested. But I'm finding out that some Izakai's obviously aren't all about the harem, and you know, so I thought I should start giving them more of a chance. So yeah, volume three, five, and six of the saint's magic power and then i picked up x yakuza and stray kitten so i've been really enjoying like x yakuza or yakuza type stories where they decide to like take care of a kid or they get like a cat or um you know the house husband type so i like those kind of stories in general so i thought i wanted to pick this up just for fun. I'm not really sure if it's any good. I don't know much about it, but I really love cats. So I thought I'd pick it up anyways. And I think it'll be quite fun. It'll definitely be just him taking care of a cat. Um, and probably interesting adventures ensue. So yeah, interested about that. I can't believe that Seven Seas volumes are starting to become $12.99. It's absolutely crazy. The manga is getting so expensive. But yeah. 
Next, I have I Swear I Won't Bother You Again. I think this one isn't an izakaya, but it is also within the villainous genre. I think this one is about a girl who basically attempted murder on her half-sister due to jealousy. And then she gets kind of sent back in time to rewrite her wrongs and she realizes, okay, I'm going to basically get put in jail and maybe killed and beheaded or whatever if I try to kill my sister. So I'm just going to stay away from her as much as I can and be as nice to her as possible. And this is kind of where that story goes. So yeah, that sounds really fun. I heard this is quite fun as well. As I mentioned before, collecting all the villainous is a kais to read <laughs> and then i have goodbye my rose garden this one is about a maid and the person she works for in the house and i think they develop feelings for each other i don't know if this is a spoiler because she's in a wedding dress so they either don't get together or they do get together i'm not 100 sure i have volume one i haven't started it yet I need to find volume 2 as well, but I saw this in the store and I heard that this one has been quite rare to find, so I definitely had to pick it up. It's it's a girl's love historical manga and obviously picking up all the girl's love that I can find because I just want to read everything and the art style is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I'm excited to start this series as well. Next, I have another girl's love. It is White Rose in Bloom. I have volume 1, I still haven't read it. But you know me, picking up volumes, even though I haven't read any of them yet. <laughs> this one is Asumiko Nakamura. She also did Classmates, which is a very well acclaimed BL story. And this is her girls love series. And yeah, obviously I had to pick this up because I love Asumiko Nakamura. I also find Asumiko Nakamura's art style really, really unique. It's very interesting. But yeah, this one I think is about like a boarding school house and I'm not 100% sure what the story is about, but it looks really fun. Yeah. And the last one is Dinosaur Sanctuary. I actually saw Chashmish and Kitsune in the Manguru Gets channel talk about this. They were doing a buddy read on it and they were talking about it and I really wanted to find out as well what it's about. They really enjoyed it, so, so I was really interested in trying to find it out. Ashmish also has a YouTube channel on here, so definitely check her channel out. Um, Kitsune also has an Instagram where she takes pictures of manga, so I'll link them in my description so you can check them out. I've been doing some buddy reads with them and it's been really fun, so yeah, I'm excited to try this one out. The art style is really cool. The dinos look really cool as well. I don't really know too much of what this is about, but I'm assuming it's about dinosaurs and people who work in a dinosaur sanctuary and things like that. I hope things don't go too wrong in this like Jurassic Park, but yeah, we'll see. The art style looks really cool. Apparently, there is a um, interesting story behind this, so I'm interested to see where it goes. Yeah. So this is everything I got at Baboon Planet. I hope you enjoyed and if you pick up any of these, do let me know and let me know your thoughts on if you enjoyed it or not. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!